Hello and welcome to my channel Pharma Companion. Today we'll discuss about the topic high performance liquid chromatography or HPLC. This is presented by me. And let's begin the topic. So high performance liquid chromatography is an analytical technique used to separate components in a mixture and to identify and quantify each component. HPLC is a superior form of liquid chromatography in which high pressure must be applied to have an elegant flow through the column due to physical properties of HPLC column. And it was initially discovered as an analytical technique in early 20th century and was used to separate colored compounds. For chromatographic separation, the sample is introduced in a flowing mobile phase that passes a stationary phase. So this is basically the uh, HPLC machine which constitutes of a pressure gauge and high pressure is applied to the column for better separation and elution. So mobile phase is a moving liquid and is characterized by its composition, solubility, UV transparency, viscosity and miscibility with other solvents. Stationary phase is a stationary medium which can be stagnant bulk liquid or a liquid layer on the solid phase or an interfacial layer between the solid and the liquid. In high performance liquid chromatography, the stationary phase is in the form of a column packed with porous particle and the liquid mobile phase is moved through the column with a pump. The pump is used to provide enough pressure. The development of HPLC is in the development of uh, the column which requires new columns, new particles, new stationary spaces and improved procedure for packing the column. So let's discuss about the working of the high performance liquid chromatography. So first of all the sample is introduced into the column with the mobile phase as shown in this figure and second step is that separation is accomplished by different moving speed of each column. So here we use the mobile phase and deliver it by the pump which uh, it generates enough pressure and in, and in the injector we inject the sample. So this sample is uh, separated by high pressure through the column. The column consists of porous material which adsorbs the components, different components of the solvent and the sample and the detector detects the component. So the third step is the detector connected to the outlet of column monitors each eluting compound from the column chromatogram. So this is basically the chromatogram which is plotted against the time. So let's discuss about the principle of HPLC, high performance liquid chromatography. The separation principle of high performance liquid chromatography is based on the distribution of analyte or the sample between a mobile phase, eluent and a stationary phase, packing material of the column. So depending upon the chemical structure of the analyte, the molecules are retarded while passing the stationary phase. So the step one is sample is introduced into the stationary phase uh, through the column and the sample uh, differentiates into different components. Step two is sample is separated into individual components. Step, step three is that sample is separated into its individual component. Now next the instrumentation of HPLC. So the major components of HPLC include the solvent, the gradient well, the high pressure pump, sample injection loop, analytical column, detector and the computer which it is attached to to show the graph. So what is mobile phase? Up to four different eluents can be used in HPLC system. High quality eluents should be used. In isocritic elution, single eluent or two more, two or more eluents premixed in a fixed proportion may be made with a single pump. Whereas in gradient elution, separate pumps are used to deliver two eluents in proportion predetermined by a gradient programmer. So basically two types of elution are there. Isocritic means same type of eluent or same type of solvent is used and gradient means different type of solvents or different type of eluents are used. Eluents mean solvent. And if SPLC is weak in reversed chromatography and opposite is also true. So buffer system. Elution buffer composition should not influence the resolution. Column elution. Suitable eluent kept in a buffer reservoir is passed to the column at a stable uniform rate for separation of sample containing the components. The sample is uniformly applied to the top of the stationary phase bed. And here also we use filters and degazers to remove the dust particles by warming, by stirring, by applying vacuum, by ultrasonication method and by bubbling helium gas through the eluent reservoir. 
pumping system special pumps are available for the transport of eluent and are one of the most important features of the HPLC system. The function of this pump is to force a mobile phase through the stationary column at a specific flow rate which is ml per minute. So the pressure range are 6000 to 9000 psi or 4000 to 400 to 600 bar and can be attained by this pump. So standard flow in HPLC is in the range of 1 to 2 ml per minute. So good pumping system must have the main features like pressure capability of at least 50 MPa and no pulses must be there and cylind cyclical variation in pressure must be absent, must not be present. Uh, sample introducer. The most common method of sample introdu introduction is by the use of loop injector. It consists of a small volume metal loop that is filled with the sample 5 to 20 micro L. By changing the position of the valve, the eluent is channeled through the loop and the sample is flushed onto the column. HPLC injectors can be manual ones, but in most of the high number of samples, an auto sampler is used. And HPLC injectors can be manual ones, but in case of high number of sample, an auto sampler is most convenient to use. Next, we'll discuss about the column. As we know that column is often called the heart of chromatography because it is main the main con component in which the sample can be separated. Now, and in this silica is used. Silica is one of the most commonly used packing material for its reliable strength and rigidity, relative inertness and the ability to be modified chemically. So in the stationary phase, the column is critical to development of the reproducible and robust method. So fully porous silica microspheres are also used which uh, in which it includes octa decal silica which is also known as ODS silica which contains 18 carbon coating which is the most commonly used column because of its good efficiency, high sample loading, durability and wide commercial availability. This is the main point used in HPLC ODS silica. Octadecal silica is used in which 18 carbon atom, 18 hydrocarbons are composed. So types of column depending on their use. First is analytical column. Uh, whose internal diameter is 1 to 4.6 mm and length is 15 to 250 mm. Second is preparative column, which in which internal diameter is less than 4.6 mm, uh, I'm sorry, more than 4.6 mm and length is 50 to 250 mm. Capillary column, in which its internal diameter is 0.1 to 1 mm and uh, various lengths of tubing materials are used. In stainless steel column, the benefit is that high pressure can be applied to it and it is the most popular form. Glass columns are also used which are modified for biomolecules. Now peak polymer is also used. Peak means polyether ketone, polyethylene ether ketone, peak polymer is used which is biocompatible and chemically inert to most solvents. So newer columns are made with stainless steel with polished internal wall with plastic material, glass lined inner surface and the outer column surface is made with rigid polymer like polyethyl ketone peak. HPLC is divided into normal phase and reverse phase HPLC based upon the polarity of the mobile phase and the stationary phase. In the normal phase HPLC, the stationary phase that means column is polar in nature and the mobile phase, the solvent is non-polar in nature. And the reverse phase, in the reverse phase, the stationary phase column is non-polar in nature and the mobile phase which includes solvent is polar in nature. So the role of the pump is to force the liquid mobile phase to a specific flow rate ml per minute. The injector serves to introduce the liquid sample into the flow stream of the mobile phase. Column is the central part of central part and the most important component of HPLC and column stationary phase separates the column components of interest using various chemical and physical parameters. The detector is used to detect the individual molecules to that elute from the column.
the computer usually functions as the data system and the com computer not only controls all the modules of the HPLC but also it takes the signal from the detector and use it to determine uses it to determine the retention time, the sample components and quantitative analysis. So let's discuss about the parameters that are related to the HPLC. First is flow rate. It shows how fast the mobile phase travels across the column and is often used for the calculation of consumption of mobile phase at a given time interval. And the formula used for flow rate u is equal to a u. <coughs> and here a is area of the channel for flow. Second parameter is retention volume. It is defined as the volume of mobile phase flowing from the injection time until the corresponding retention time of a molecular species and are related by VR is equal to UTR. <coughs> Excuse me. Next is migration time. It can be defined as the velocity through which species move through the column. Migration rate is inversely proportional to the retention time and it is denoted by UR is equal to U or uh, ur is equal to u into vmo upon vmo plus vst here vmo is mobile phase volume and vst is stationary phase volume and next parameter is capacity factor it is the ratio of reduced retention time and dead time it is shown as k is equal to tr minus t0 upon t0 which equals u r minus u zero upon u zero. Now let let us discuss about the application of high performance liquid chromatography. As we know, HPLC is an optimum method for separation of chemical and biological compounds that are non volatile and thermally stable, like pharmaceuticals like aspirin, ibuprofen, or acetaminophen, sodium chloride, potassium, potassium phosphate, and other salts, proteins like egg white and blood protein and organic chemicals like polymers, polystyrene, polyethylene, many natural products are also separated like ginseng, herbal medicines, plant extracts, and many thermo thermally unstable compounds are separated like TNT, trinitrotoluene, and enzymes, etc. So these are the references that I used uh, to make this slide by me. And thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe and like all my videos. Thank you so much.